I don't know if you can see me. And uh, I'm here because my daughter, Caitlin, uh, who is my usual handy, uh, handy cameraman or person, uh, is not here. But the good news is, is that uh, the camera work that she has shown lately has been a little shaky, so hopefully this will be a little bit more uh, clear. And uh, I wanted to show you uh, my bee yard and also uh, my bee roof, actually. And I also wanted to look for a queen that I introduced accidentally to uh, a hive uh, without introducing her slowly and see if she survived or not. So we're going to look at that right now. So here's the bee yard. This uh, hive right here is, uh, has, is actually a double hive. Uh, it's gone vertical with two medium, actually one medium and one deep uh, box. <coughs> and they ha it has entrances on opposite sides. Um, I've shown you this particular hive design in, a, in an earlier video. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, then we have this hive design, which is one of my own, which is a nuke. Uh, and what I like about this is I've actually built boxes so that I can add boxes to this nuke and it becomes a self-contained hive with uh, an integral bottom board. So I can transfer it like this or I can add a box to the top and add more brood chambers to it. Um, so, And then we just have a, a couple of standard hives here which um, are functioning well. And then we have a sick hive over here, which I need to requeen. Although it does have some uh, queen cells in it, I have not. I don't have uh, high hopes that they will um, hatch, and so I'd like to requeen it. This is the hive that had the uh, the um, uh, laying uh, laying worker eggs in it. Um, so let's check out our hive that was queenless, and I added the queen to it. It's this big one. This was our healthiest hive, so let me smoke it and then we'll open it up. This is our hive that um, I think is continuing to be queenless because I think we lost that queen yesterday. As you can see, it's still a fairly active hive. This is the one I've done all my splits off of. I've been very fortunate to have this one. I got a few homemade pollen patties up there for them to eat. That's good news. So let's see what we can find here. Well, I would have liked to have shown you what was inside this hive, but it was hard for me to lift up the, up the frames and um, show it to you. Uh, I will tell you that I did find several queen cells being developed. Let me see if I can pull a frame out and show you a few without getting stung here. Ugh. This one have any queen cells on it? Hold on. Here are a couple of queen cells in development. Those are more likely emergency queen cells because they're in the middle, middle of the comb. But we do have other queen cells being developed on other, um, at the bottoms of other uh, frames. And so I do feel as if we lost our queen and um, these, these guys are getting ready to bring on a new queen, which is fine with me. It's a healthy hive. Um, we'll see what happens. Now let me see if I can find her body. Okay, so this is cool. So I was having a hard time finding this queen and she ended up being down at the bottom of a pile. Um, and if you look down here, you see them be all these guys just surrounding this something. And I'm gonna push them out of the way. And you can see the queen with the green dot. Where is she? Right there. Now, I'm thinking this is not a good sign. Where's my smoker? But she's still alive. So I'm thinking if I can get her, and isolate her and put her back in her cage, I might be able to get her to be accepted. So, stand by. So, 
So lots of new discoveries. First of all, I was able to recapture my queen. And I'm gonna to try to requeen one one of my hives now with her and see how we do there. Um, it was interesting to me how that happened. So I'm gonna keep her in her cage. And see if she can be accepted uh, by this new hive. And then I'm not sure if you remember. So this hive here, this hive had a failing queen in it and had some queen cells developing. Hooray for that. And then I took this small hive with some queen cells developing, thinking I could split with some queen cells developing into it. And I had seen the, the queen in this hive, which was strange. I went and inspected this hive this morning. The queen from the larger hive was in it, so clearly she swarmed in some way into this hive. In this hive, the queen cells have been breached, so there's a new queen in there somewhere. I was not able to find her, but she probably hasn't had her drone flights yet, or pardon me, her mating flights yet. But this hive looks like it's gonna get healthy. It's got a lot of bees in it, so that's good. Um, and this hive will get healthy, hopefully, uh, with that that queen. Uh, even though she's a failing queen, she'll still uh, be able to lay eggs right away. And hopefully, given the size of that hive, um, she'll at least get some workers established. But we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, anyway. All right, here's our new split. Here's our queen that we were able to recapture uh, from our nice big original hive that they were balling they had balled around but for some reason she hadn't hurt her now none of there's no nurse bees in this cage and the, the sides of the cage are corked and so I'm hopeful that once they and, and the, by the way these bees in here have been we're in that queenless hive so hopefully they will assume that they are still queenless and give her at least a little bit of a break um, and start to feed her through the cage I'm going to leave her in there for a good week uh, before I check, uh, or at least five days before I check to make sure that she's okay. Um, so let's give that a shot. Okay, the bees are surrounding the cage. I can't see what they're doing though. Uh, let's see what they're doing here. Okay, well there's so many damn bees around this cage, I can't see what they're doing. What I'd like to see is their tongue sticking down there, their proboscises. Let's see if I can... Hard to tell. Well, I'll tell you what, we're just going to leave her in here and see what happens. Damn it.